Oreo caramel. Can't you feel it? Mm. All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, everyone in between, we are back with yet again another moment. If this is your first time here, my name is Malcolm Soares. This is my channel where we celebrate fashion, style, beauty, entertainment, pop culture, whatever you want. And now you're only one button click away from being a part of the moment. I was just minding my business, scrolling on Instagram. I just couldn't even believe this was actually happening. I saw orange and brown packaging. I could smell the peanut butter and the chocolate. And yes, this is a Reese's makeup collection. I have no idea who signed off on this, who approved of this, or who conceptualized this, but they need a raise. Reese's collaborated with Hip Dot, which is a beauty brand that I'm actually not even really familiar with. I've never shopped anything Hip Dot. I'm not really hip to the dot. This is very much like living your chocolate fantasy. I didn't get the entire collection because that's not exactly like the time that we're on right now budget wise. But what I did get is the Pressed Pigment Palette. This is the Peanut Butter Milk Chocolate Palette. There was the white chocolate and the milk chocolate. I'm, I'm here for the milk chocolate. I'm milk chocolate, I just feel like. And I also got the Lips Duo. So I thought that these were like nude lipsticks. And then when I looked at it, it said two tinted lip balms. So I obviously didn't read the product description correctly. What I'm mostly impressed by is that on the back of both of these packaging, it clearly says animal test free and vegan see that stop hurting the bunnies the palette retails for $16 when you go to order them it says the fragrance is synthetic and free of actual peanut content somewhere on here I thought that it said that it's supposed to smell like peanut butter or something but from the outside the packaging doesn't smell at all so maybe when we break the seal and we have the moment and we open it up we'll get the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Fantasy. These are what the lip balms look like. I absolutely love this packaging. This is the shade Peanut Butter Lovers. I love peanut butter. Peanut butter is everything. Peanut butter is good with the brownie. It's good in a cake. It's good on a cupcake. You can also go into like a savory type of situation like um with pretzels this is actually really beautiful it's a very true light brown and i love that this is giving me like a cream lipstick more than like a bomb but that tint is really nice the lips duo was actually sold out which is the gag but everything else in the collection is actually still available on hip dot site i should have gotten a reese's freaking king size thing for this video the other shade is chocolate lovers where are the chocolate lovers this is like a true brown that's the shade. It's really pretty. It's very creamy. It's very lightweight. We'll see what happens with these. First of all, this packaging is everything. I love the gold trim here. Again, it just makes it really stand out. The orange is obviously signature Reese's, so it feels kind of textured. There's like this geometric type of moment going on here. This is what it looks like. This is exactly what I think of when I think of a Reese's peanut butter cup. This yellow, oh my God. But I'm also gravitating toward this shimmer. This is a shimmer up here as well. And then these are the three matte shades. Different shades of brown, like a deep, a neutral for a transition and definitely more of like an orangey shade. So we're going with the warmth. We're going with, you know, the reds and the oranges and the browns. Oh my God, uh, there's a little Reese's peanut butter cup by the mirror. First of all, the fact that there's a mirror is everything. You guys know I love a mirror in a palette. I'm gonna be right here with it. This video was not sponsored, by the way, by Hip Dot or by Reese's, but I'll be right here with that product placement, girl. Like, yes. Reese's, eyeshadow, peanut butter, chocolate. The moment. I'm gonna keep my base and all of the complexion stuff kind of simple so that we can get to the Reese's products. You guys know I love this setting spray. The Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1. Just get my skin ready. Mm. One of my new favorite primers at the moment is the One Size Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. Feels like 
I'm blurring out my skin. I'm just gonna let this sit on top of the skin for a little bit. I did my brows already off camera. And for foundation, we're gonna be using the Oma Beauty Say What Weightless Foundation. I'm doing more of a basic routine today just so that we can get to the Reese's and the chocolate. I'm just gonna add a bit more since this is like a weightless, more medium coverage foundation. It even says for extreme coverage, apply multiple layers. Come on layers. Sometimes I feel like I'm literally an Aztec warrior going to battle when I'm like slapping on foundation. <laughs> Did you guys shop the Sephora sale? I got some new stuff, I replenished some old stuff. I'm doing another layer. You only live once. Okay, thank you Oma Beauty for your contribution to today's face. All right, now we're contouring using the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Bronzer in the cream formula, and this is the shade Chocolate. How perfect, how fitting. I'm placing that where I want to contour. I'm gonna add my highlight concealer. Fenty Beauty Pro Filter 385. This is like my holy grail black owned concealer right now. You know, I don't do that much on TikTok, but this little trend of putting the concealer on the outside, kinda here for it. Okay, now we're gonna blend out the contour. And now let's blend out the concealer. I'm gonna set my concealer now with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder. This is the shade Honey. I always bring that powder up close to the side of my nose too because that will actually help with your nose contour. As you can see, we're almost at the point of like a Latoya Jackson moment. <laughs> I love to contour. Suck it all in, you know? I dropped the Beauty Blender. Mayday. Mayday. This doesn't smell like anything. There's a peanut butter undertone. I wanted more from the fragrance. I wanted to feel like I had a Reese's in my hand. And I was a bit hesitant when the packaging didn't smell like it right away. Because you get nothing from the outside. I'm getting nothing. It wasn't what I was expecting. It's fine. Prep my eyelids a little bit more. Let's get to these eyes. The windows to the soul. I'm just gonna start with peanut butter in the middle here. There is a little fallout in the pan. As you can see, it's a little bit chalky. If anything, that just shows me that there's gonna be really good pigment, so fallout doesn't really bother me. First impressions of peanut butter. It's like the perfect transition shade for my skin tone. It's very earthy, it's very sandstone, it's very like Sedona, Arizona. This is really pretty and the coverage is there too. Yeah, this is actually everything. Like this looks like what a bronzer would look like on my lid in my crease. Now I'm gonna take like an eye contour brush from e.l.f. and I'm gonna go into this deep dark shade milk chocolate in the corner. I'm gonna put this on my outer corner. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit to my crease too. I'm gonna go back to peanut butter and just blend those two out. Honestly, any eyeshadow palette, I really appreciate a deep brown shade. And then you can glam it up with all of these shimmers in here. So this is a pretty versatile palette actually. The three mattes here, you can easily use for an everyday look. I'm gonna go into Tasty in the corner here. This orange, I'm just gonna add it to peanut butter in my crease. These shade names though, doesn't it make your mouth water like a little bit? I'm gonna need to get like a brownie or a milkshake or something like delectable today in honor of this video. I'm not like a huge dessert person. Comment down below what your favorite like candy snack candy bar moment is. 
Reese's is definitely in my top. I love a good Snickers moment. I love a good Milky Way moment. My goal is to use every shade in the palette and I think I have a way to do that. My plan is to put the shade Perfect right here, this golden glisteny goddess moment. Oh my. This formula is actually quite glittery, kind of creamy at the same time. Let's just try it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, the fallout is real. Oh, but it's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Oh, goodness, I'm gonna have glitter and flakes everywhere. It just, it moves so weird in here when you touch it. Back in the crease to clean up the edges. Oh, this is pretty. And we're gonna bring that yellow in. We're just gonna go for it on the inner corner. Yeah, see, I think the yellow is gonna take us home. Wow, look at that. Now we're getting to the glamour. Now we're getting to the moment. I'm gonna go back to the middle of the lid with that kind of buttery glitter. Ooh, imagine just the yellow on the lid. Yeah, this palette is actually everything. Using both Tasty and Peanut Butter, I'm just going back to the crease. Now I'm going back to Milk Chocolate, that deep brown. I just focus on repetition and blending. The candy man could never. I'm loving this look actually. All right, so I'm gonna go underneath with those crease shades just really quickly. Tasty and peanut butter. Then I'm gonna go into milk chocolate. Gorgeous. Yeah, this might be the one. Do you see that? I'm gonna do a brow bone highlight using this candy shade. And then we will have used every shade in the palette. It's a little bit icy, but I'm okay with that. But it's not coming off ashy. Okay, so that's every shade in the Hip Dot Reese's Peanut Butter Milk Chocolate Palette. That's the look. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. I'm gonna add some liner and some lashes. Then we're gonna get to the lips duo. We're gonna transform into the Glamazon. We're gonna give you full coverage, full B glamour in three, two, one. You guys know I love a good transition. I'm just dusting off all that excess powder and then we will go to the lips. I think I might add some powder bronzer actually real quick. Um, Fenty Beauty, we're really on the Fenty today. A little bit of powder over my bronzer situation and it'll set that cream so that nothing is moving around. I want everything to stay in place. Don't move. Stop trying. Hit the nose a little bit. Now I'm just gonna set my face with LYS Beauty, the Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. This is actually the first black owned, completely clean beauty brand being sold at Sephora. This one just gets the job done. There's a mirror. It's a cute little triangle packaging moment. Products like these are what really help me get that like airbrushed and filtered look. I put a lot of powder on my face, so I'm gonna go back to my setting spray and just hit it real quick. Now the lip product doesn't smell like anything. It's giving me nothing. I'm not gonna lie, I wanted some more fragrance. I wanted to smell some Reese's, okay. Okay, so first impressions, Peanut Butter Lovers is <laughs> very light. I would definitely need a liner with this. I just feel like tinted lip balms are kind of weird. Like, I don't know. Give me a cream lipstick or a liquid lip. I'm gonna add a liner and see if the Peanut Butter Lovers will be a little bit better. Just like a deep, dark brown liner on it. I feel like for a bomb, the point is that you don't have to wear a liner. It should be kind of just more like, uh-oh, this is actually looking kind of pretty. Okay, yeah, peanut butter lovers might be a go. Yeah, I see it now. 
Yeah, I feel like this actually might be just an easy lip combo. Let me see what it looks like with Honey Waffles from Fenty Beauty. Let me just, let me just experiment really quickly. Oh yeah, this is fantastic actually. Honestly, we can make it work. Okay, we are back with bare lips and we are ready for the next tinted lip balm. This is the shade Chocolate Lovers. So this was more of like a deeper brown, a little bit more milk chocolate vibes. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, this is really pretty. I can pull this off without a liner. I prefer more coverage on the lips, but this coverage is actually great. That's a nude lip. I literally feel like I have creamy peanut butter like on my lips. Mmm. Oh, can you imagine if these tasted like peanut butter? That's low key what I wanted here. Like I wanted to have to resist the urge to lick my lips all the time because it tasted like peanut butter. I'm here for the drama. In terms of the eyeshadow, my overall thoughts are stunning. The yellow is definitely the highlight for me in the palette. It's really more like a yellow gold, but overall I'm getting the Reese's vibes, real brown chocolate vibes. This is the final look using the Reese's and Hip Dot collaboration. This collection is extremely impressive. I love the eyeshadow palette. The browns, the orange, the yellow, even that glittery kind of crazy shade. It showed up really nicely on the eyes. I really love how cohesive this color palette is. I love how complimentary it is on brown skin. Y'all didn't sponsor this video, but you probably should have because I'm an official fan now and this might be low-key like a go-to palette for me. Let me know which lip balm you guys liked more. Did you guys like the lighter, the peanut butter lovers, or do you like this deeper chocolate lovers that's on my lips right now? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Check out my beauty playlist. I'm gonna include the card right up here. Make sure you're being your own definition of beautiful. And for now, until the next video, until the next experience, and until the next moment. Yeah, I need to go order a Reese's milkshake like right now. Like I need peanut butter and chocolate, Oreo, caramel. Can't you feel it? Mm. I didn't even need to take a sip of water this entire video because my mouth was watering thinking about Reese's and peanut butter.